control your pet pooch with the power of a pendulum? Make a plane that'll steer its way out of trouble. Learn the secret to skipping rocks across a water surface. And the ultimate facial, all from the kitchen cupboard. Uh, doesn't that look kind of gross to you, Dana? Well, not exactly. And let's face it, I think someone could use a little touch-up in the looks department. Let's find out how. Zach and I have had a brilliant game. We're a real mess. And the school dance is on tonight. Oh, dear. Our faces are going to need major repair work. Mum always says when it comes to makeover time, you can't be a face mask. Darn, there's none left. I wonder how we can make a face mask. I know. Wait here and I'll grab the stuff. We'll need some almonds, oatmeal, some sticky yummy honey, and from the fridge, some yogurt. I'll need a cucumber if you wouldn't mind, Zach. Don't worry, Zach. All will become clear. Now let's go clean up before the magnificent makeover begins. Daniel and I are trying to hypnotise bonkers. Then we can make him do whatever we want. You are feeling sleepy. Daniel, I think it's working. Watch this. Bonkers, go jump in the pool. <laughs> hey, that's not meant to happen. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> How can I show Daniel I really do have hypnotic powers? I know. We'll need these two mugs and these two chairs. The chairs go back to back like this. Then we tie some rope between them. Spread the chairs apart so that the rope is tight. Now, two pieces of string cut to the same length. One end is tied to the mug handle and the other end to the rope. The two mugs should be hanging at around the same height. We've got to make sure they're both the same distance from the chairs and that the rope is tight. There! I'm ready to demonstrate my amazing hypnotic powers. You won't believe your eyes! A little push on this mug and that mug in front of Daniel will soon be totally hypnotised. You are under my power. You will swing like the other mug, even though no one has touched you. See? It started moving just like I told it to. Sorry, Ashley. It's not hypnotic power that made the second mug move. It moved because when the first mug was pushed, it gained what's called kinetic energy. That's the energy something has when it moves. The first mug's kinetic energy then made the rope move. Then it was the rope's kinetic energy that caused the second mug to swing. Well, I can't hypnotise a thing today. Hey! Well, at least Bonkers would do anything for a delicious doggy treat. Good boy, Bonkers! Well, a doggy treat sure put a smile on that shaggy old face. Speaking of shaggy old faces, are you sure you won't consider a facial, Taryn? It's so simple and Kimberly's got everything organised. We're all cleaned up and it's time to make our face masks. First, we need to exfoliate. Mum says it's about rubbing off dead skin cells. So we need something scratchy enough to rub them off. We'll start by grinding up these almond pieces. A couple of spoons of almonds. I'll get Zach to do the honours. They'll need to be really fine. Take a while. And did you just see the ball? Miss Kilo. Oh, I got it off for a bit there. Good one, Zach. Perfect. Stick it in the bowl. Now for the oatmeal. In it goes. Mash away, glamour boy. Looking good. Into the bowl. Now for the gooey yogurt. Couple of spoonsful. And we'll mix it all up. This is going to feel so good going on our faces. That should do it. Looks just like Mum's real face mask. Group. Grab a handful. And on it goes. Oh, feels so weird. We have to smear it around to rub the dead cells off. 
like every one of us, Zach and Kimberly lose millions of dead skin cells every day. That's because your top layer of skin continually makes new skin cells, and the new cells push the old ones to the outside of your skin. The rough chunks of oatmeal and almond in the paste are abrasive enough to rub all those dead cells off the skin without damaging it. Okay, we've got rid of the rubbish on our skin. Oh yeah, super smooth. Now before Rebecca gets here, we've got just enough time to give our skin that extra special glow. <laughs> Damon and I are going to build the world's funkiest plane. I'll start by drawing two rectangles. One big one, about 25 centimetres by 10 centimetres, that's 10 inches by 4 inches. And one small one, about 20 centimetres by 4 centimetres, that's about 8 inches by 1.5 inches. Now I'll cut them out, fold the big rectangle in half, and glue the edges together. That's our wing. Now, planes have these flaps on their wings to help them fly. So we'll measure about this far in from each edge and make a small slit there, like this. Now fold up the flaps. Good, very professional. Now Damon will make the tail out of the small rectangle. Fold it in half, then fold each half over again. It makes a W shape like this. For the body of the aeroplane, we'll join two straws together. Snip a point on one so it fits inside another like this. Then tape the straws to the middle of the wing. Now tape the tail to the other end. And finally, put a blob of plasticine on the nose. Nice job, co-pilot Damon. I hope she flies. So do I. Do you think it will, Tarek? Oh, yeah. I think Olivia's got it all sewn up in the aeronautics department. And she's not the only flying expert. Take a look at how Abdullah's rocks fly across the water. My buddy Abdullah says he's a rock skipping expert. He's recorded five jumps, but today he's going for six. He's picked just the right rocks. Flat and smooth ones are best. He also needs to find the best angle to throw at. That's where I come in. That throw was about 45 degrees to the water surface. Try 35 degrees this time, Abdullah. That's a little bit lower than your last throw. One, two, three. No. Let's go lower still. 20 degrees from the water surface. Here goes. Good throw. Go to the replay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. It's a new Abdullah record. Scientists have found that you get the most jumps when the rock hits the water at an angle of 20 degrees. At that angle, the rock tilts back slightly as it hits and presses down on the water for an instant. The water then presses back, helping the rock lift up again. Keep practicing, Abdullah. The world record is 38 jumps. 38? Come on, Abdullah. That's just 32 more than your record. My co-pilot Damon and I have built a funky plane. And we're nearly ready for a test flight. There's just one finishing touch I need to make. On the upright part of the tail, I'm going to snip and fold a flap. The same as the ones we made on the wings. OK, let's get to the launch pad. We're waiting for the thumbs up from the control tower. So I'll adjust my tail rudder. I'm folding it to the left. This should make the glider turn to the left as it flies. Here it goes. Wow, brilliant. She does fly. And she turned to the left. Let's have another go. I'll try folding the rudder to the right this time. Cool, a right hand turn. It's just like a real aeroplane. 
flaps. That's right, Olivia. An aeroplane's flaps alter the flow of air so the plane can change direction. When Olivia's tail rudder is angled to the left, it forces passing air to the left. That presses the tail to the right, which points the plane's nose to the left. When you want to steer your plane the opposite way, just change the direction of the flap. Give me five, David. Now let's see if we can loop the loop. <laughs> hey, well done, guys. If only I could have as much success persuading Taryn to try a face mask. Well, I'll just wait and see how Kimberly and Zach's little kitchen extravaganza turns out. Zach and I have already gotten rid of our dead skin cells. Now, before we get picked up for tonight's school dance, there's just enough time for phase two of our beauty plan. Let's slice up the cucumber first. We'll use that later. Let's get the honey going, Mr. Muscles. Now, just smear it on your face. Oh, that feels so smooth. Zach, make sure you rub it all over your face. Oh yeah, the cucumbers. Don't worry, Zach. I have a plan. Oh no, Rebecca's here. Shall we? Yeah. Kimberly and Zach's honey mask makes a perfect natural face mask because honey attracts and retains moisture. Moist skin means it stays soft and stretchy. Honey also protects our skin because it stops bacteria from growing. And those cucumbers really help too. They contain lots of water, which restores moisture to the skin. After our fabulous face mask treatments, Rebecca's going to be so impressed. How cool will we look at tonight's dance? What? Don't you think we look beautiful enough? What do you think, Dana? Do I look better already? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> It'll take ages before it's finished. But we have to say goodbye now, because we've come to the end of another show. See you next time! time.